everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm looking here at Facebook Live reporting right now. We're watching the stock. It's tanking. It's interesting because a lot of people had a long bias on this that it would gap up and report whatever it's in the earnings. I don't, I only look at technicals. That's all that I look at. But I had a feeling, and I said this in the room this morning, I had a feeling that this was not going to gap up. I had a feeling this was going to gap down. I had a feeling that the bias for this would be down. And I even said in the room we might be doing this tomorrow. Now, I don't know what this is going to rate at. It's six minutes after four o'clock. I have no idea what happens tomorrow morning by the morning, but I, I will definitely be rating this as a short tomorrow. I don't know if it'll rate good or not. Uh, you know, I really don't know, but I'm telling you that I had a feeling this was going to drop. I just did. I mean, you know, you don't take a trade on a feeling, but I did say this in the room this morning. There was such bullish bias on this stock for the earnings expectations that it just, you know, I just didn't feel that way about it. The stock has had a nice rally. The stock made new highs today. The market ran up into the close, and let's just take a look and see how this is affecting the market. It's just it's just too bad because this could actually drag the market down some tomorrow, despite the fact the market had this beautiful rally into the close. I don't think this is going to hurt the overall market, but it could bring tech in a little bit um, because obviously all these things are greatly, greatly affected. Um, and, but this is just too early to see, way too early. But I think that this is going to gap down and hold the gap down. Where, when, what time, where is it going to be? I don't know. But this just tanked. I mean, this just absolutely fell off a cliff. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the high today, let's just look at it. It just made it seconds before the close. 218.62. And right now, this is a live gap that's happening. For those of you that know what a gap is, here it is. It is the difference between the close and the open. I don't know where this opened today, but I can tell you the chances of this opening down now are high because right now it's trading at 197.50. We're here. Now it's at 198 ish. Here, 197. .8. I mean, this is just, this is going to. This this is gonna open lower tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna open here. It could be in 190. I mean, this is tanking. And uh, I will look at this tomorrow to rate it. But all in all, this stock is still in an uptrend. The stock is still in an uptrend, even if it opened here tomorrow, this stock is still holding the uptrend, okay? But I had a feeling this was gonna be down. I mean, I just, and I can't even tell you why. I can't even tell you why, because you know sometimes the pundits out there say blah, 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 that it's gonna be higher than it is, but I just didn't feel that way about this. Either way, Facebook's had a nice run, and I'm not saying, you know, be out of this long term, but I definitely think that this is something that I will be watching tomorrow morning. So this is what I look at. You don't trade anything until the gap happens. The stock's gapping right now. We don't do anything in the post-market. We don't do anything in the pre-market, although there are people that are trading this right now. All right, but I'm telling you, this is what a gap is. And what you would learn from me is to determine what to do with Facebook tomorrow if you wanted to trade it, you would rate the gap. You would learn how to rate the gap tomorrow morning with me and determine if it's a long or a short. I don't know because it's too early and this is still reporting. So this could move, like I said, 10 points in either direction, up or down even more. You know, between, this is so gonna, I, look at this, it's at 196 here, where's the low? It broke 195, 194.21. So we will see what happens with Facebook, the poor baby. And if you're interested in more information on learning how to trade stocks with volume, momentum that move, Facebook's a good mover. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.